Hey Royals, welcome to my kitchen here. Today, what we're going to be going through uh, is showing you uh, what we fix for our meal. It's the best we can do healthy wise. Uh, we buy, try to buy organic, clean, and while maybe isn't organic, we also try to uh, just clean properly with what we have, which I'll share with y'all there in just a few moments. But first, what I'm going to show you is how what we have prepped here. This is what we got right now. So far, I have onions. I have the guacamole, as you can see right here. I have our cheese. I have the greens. And I have our tomatoes. The onions here are the sweet onions. And these are the avocados. Uh, they're about the medium sized avocados. I use about two of them. And I put the four seasoning in there, which I use these here. I use the peppercorn grinder, Himalayan pink salt grinder, Tony Chachri's. And our garlic powder. I don't measure it out. I just estimate it on past experience. And then what we have here is the cheese. I just grated here with the good old grater. And then I have the greens, which is these greens here. These are HB Organics Hearts and Romaine. And we have the Organics Baby Spring Spinach here. Right there. And then we also have our uh, chopped tomatoes, which is Roma tomatoes, which I... Uh, wash by hand previously uh, with soap, ivory soap, or you use a vegetable wash. About like what you would with your hand, you wash about 20 seconds until you get some of that waxiness off of there. So, and then, um, and then, uh, and on this here avocado, you get old mat, potato masher does the work, get it to where you get creamy enough, and you whip it up. And then I also use some lemon juice or lime juice. That you get in the bottle or even regular and squeeze over here until it covers it and you got to keep it from oxidizing and turning dark on you so all right then we come over here we have our taco shells ready we have seven here lined up here on a parchment paper lined sheet we have our oven set at 325 to cook these or bake these rather at about five minutes that way no more because you don't want to get them too too brittle uh, we have our pan here i suggest that you use Stand steel pan with aluminum or a copper bottom here that'll help regulate the heat evenly. Uh, you can use an iron skillet or you can even use other skillets, but this is probably safer as far as uh, what you cook your food in. So also, and this is what we're using here. We're using uh, taco seasoning. We use the old El Paso, which is the same brand that we have our taco shells from. We use the water that requires uh, the right measurement with that. And this here is the meat that we use. It's an HEB Organics ground beef, 90% lean, 10% fat, and it's grass-fed, grass-finished. And you could put oil back here in the pan, or you could use a pit spray, but usually the fat content of the meat is actually, uh, will do the job for you. So. And then you can top it off with when you're through, when you put it all together, you use like your hot sauce or your favorite choice. I like, I prefer uh, this here, um, which is Frank's Red Hot Original. And sometimes I also like to use olive oil on that there as well. And we also have another little customer, if, or rather little Harley. Harley, come here, baby. Come on. Come here. Guys, this is our oldest boy, Harley, and he loves spinach. Ready, buddy? Here you go. There you go. Right there. Okay, guys, that's it for what we have here. I hope that was kind of helpful. Y'all take care. Hope to see y'all again, okay? Be safe.